We were talking, like, or you made a segue last episode about yeah. uh, what not to do when you're getting a hold of a radio station for contest. And we, you alluded, like, you had some more stories about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, no matter where you are, uh, no matter what what city you or town or or whatever you may live in, uh, chances are there's a local radio station. And we live in a world where we have the technology where I actually just brought it up right now. I'm connected to five different radio stations text lines. Yeah. And from my own home computer, this is my home studio. Um, I can I can see who texted, I can I can you know, I can reply, I can I can go through history, whatever. Yeah. And so <clears throat> there's plenty of times where um, someone will get a little too comfortable. Or mm. they'll get a little too mouthy, <laughs> or maybe a case of day drinking, <laughs> or maybe they're just batshit crazy. I'm, mm. I don't know. But um, there's the radio stations will do contests on different platforms. Sometimes right. it's it's a cue to call in. Sometimes it's a social media like respond to Facebook and we'll pick one at random. And sometimes it'll be text in your answer. Here's the thing. If you piss off anyone at a radio station, if you call them names, if you, you know, insult them, if you go on a conspiracy theory <laughs> okay. rant, or yeah. if you spam a text line, we can block you. <laughs> and for good reason, really. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the reason why I, this is, I, I, I referenced this as like, you know, how to not win anything at a radio station is because during that contest of like text in the blah, 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 and you could win blah, 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 blah. And yep. it was, a, it was about a month ago. I gave away uh, two sets of tickets to Megadeth. Yeah. And it was a text in contest. <laughs> and so I did, I did the execution. I said, text now at two, five, zero, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I will throw your name into the draw. So, all these people texted in. I had a, like over 50 within the first 10 minutes. Oh, Jesus. Right? Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. So I, I, after an hour, I collected everyone and then I did the draw and then two people won a pair of tickets to go see Megadeth each type thing. Nice. And so just out of curiosity, I go to the blocked page and I can even still see it right now. There is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 people that tried <laughs> but they were blocked. but because because they were blocked and i can see the reason why they were blocked because we make notes um they weren't even in the running so so what are what are some of the reasons there i mean like without getting to like not like get like uh that we're you know, like gonna witch hunt these people or anything but like what like what are the, like, I... what are these people like block, block okay for prime prime example desiree uh who fancies herself to be uh, an aspiring uh, radio personality, or at least a, a producer, um, has had this habit and still has this habit of texting in useless information. And I mean, absolutely useless. Like I can, I can I'm scrolling through it right now. And here's a video from Lincoln Park. Here's a video from Motley Crue. Here's four gifts in a row of Motley Crue. Here's a video for Europe, Final Countdown. Here's mm. a video for Europe, Carrie. Here's a video for Europe, Rock the Night. These are all within the same minute. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, holy shit. Like, like, oh, man. You know, okay. So that kind of reminds me, and it's not the same thing, but like back when we were in, in Bog, like the Bitter Old Goons gaming group we were in. Yeah. And like when we were streaming like a lot, we had that sort of shit sort of happen in some of our chats. Oh yeah. Like we'd have like these weird people show up and, you know, just like say dumb shit. And like, just like, yeah. what do you do? Like, why, like, why, <clears throat> what possesses you to message like any sort of call it a media group? I, I mean, I'm not a media group, but you know sure. what I mean? Like, but any sort of channel like that, like, why would you want to put like, do that sort of shit? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Is it mental uh, illness, maybe? Possibly. I don't know. But this person had been warned, and I can again, I can see everything. This person yeah. had been warned, like, uh, please stop doing this. This is useless information. Yeah. Uh, stop spamming our text line. 
thank you, but we already know our address and our phone number. Like, it's just <laughs> like this person is. Well, delusional, I'm, probably. I'm, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Right. Another example. Um, same radio station. Uh, this is for a uh, new rock, uh, classic rock radio station. Uh, started playing Ozzy Osbourne with Eric Clapton one of those days. Okay. And it's off of the uh, the Patient Number 9 album. Well, the new one, I think. The that new one, I, yeah. I haven't listened to it. <clears throat> so, so the backstory behind the song, and I had to look into it, was it was Ozzy Osbourne who wrote the lyrics, who asked Eric Clapton to provide the guitar for right. the song. Okay. The song is from someone who is struggling with their faith. And because of the the situation and the state of the world and his surroundings. And clearly this was around the pandemic, right? Okay. So it's it's questioning their faith. Non specifically, but definitely directed towards Christianity. Okay. Here's here's the kicker. Eric Clapton, devote Christian. Yeah. Okay. So the only way that Eric Clapton was able to sign on, agree to do this, was if the lyrics was on point but generic enough that it wasn't an attack on Christianity. This I, I, I person by the name, sorry, I get it. But yeah, yeah. This this person by the name of Sean, um, <laughs> went on a bloody tirade and uh, demanded to be. Uh, given some airtime to defend Jesus and then had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven other people or spoof phone numbers or whatever all text in within a quick estimation 10 minute span saying, Let Sean defend Jesus. Why? All texted the exact same thing. Why? And then this Sean person <clears throat> continued to go on and berate the on-air host, which wasn't me. It was actually the host on before me. Uh, but berate this on-air host. And then <laughs> proceeded to try to request some of the most hateful songs that I had to go look up. <laughs> like, why is he requesting? Oh, Jesus. That is a horrid song. And thinking to myself, like, what is this? man of God doing with this automatic law library of these like hateful, fightful songs, like just what, like what rattling kind of, around what, in his head. What kind of songs? Oh, let me find them. Let me find them. Cause that, that, I mean, that's, that, that's interesting to me. Yeah. Uh, uh, cowardly act. You should give me an opportunity to defend my savior against your radio station for playing this song. I'm not going away. I'm, and now I'm going to ask you to be involved. We could have talked. Oh, you have a headache. You say I have a headache on air. This means I'm getting to you. Like, <laughs> Holy shit, man. Like, 